Hi everybody! So if you watch my channel regularly, you might have noticed the other day that I did a shopping at Barnes & Noble video where I was looking at picture books. And I actually did end up buying a couple of little books that I wanted to share because I think they're pretty cool. And that is a couple of uh, early reader or beginning reader books. This is a ready to read level three, History of Fun Stuff, The Great American Story of Charlie Brown, Snoopy, and the Peanuts Gang by Chloe Perkins and illustrated by Scott Burroughs. And then I also got this Penguin Young Readers Level 4 book, The Tale of Beatrix Potter, adapted by Sarah Schoenfeld. And I got both of these because I absolutely love books that are about children's authors because if you watch this channel a lot, you know I collect children's books that I just, I adore children's literature and I've actually written children's books that won awards. And I also uh, professionally review children's books, which I work for a company that reviews like all kinds of books for different people, but I always specialize whenever I can in children's books. And I also do a lot of nonfiction because I enjoy that as well. But children's books is definitely my passion as far as literature goes. So I wanted to get these because I love Snoopy and I love uh, all that kind of stuff. I always liked Charles Schultz's stuff. And I always liked Beatrix Potter. I always thought she was pretty cool. I've actually watched movies and stuff about her. But I'll just flip through a little bit and show you kind of what they look like. This, the Charlie Brown book, I had never actually seen before. So I was excited to find this one. And I really like the pictures in this. I think they're really cool. And I like how they have, you know, him dressed in the Charlie Brown outfit, the kid watching it and everything. So as you can see, um, pretty easy reading big print but there is more reading than a lot of these early to read books have which is why this is level three but it's certainly easy reading nothing hard or anything like that and i actually already know a lot about charles schultz's life because i've read biographies and stuff about him but i'm always collecting new books and whenever a children's book comes out that is about the life of one of my favorite children's writers or just general writers or an artist or something that I really like and that inspires me. I always try to collect them. So I love that picture because I, I always loved Pigpen. He's just so cute. So I'm excited. I actually haven't read this one yet, but I do think it looks like a lot of fun. And there's even some stuff at the back of it, like how to draw Charlie Brown and some stuff about the science of animation and some stuff about geography, like where the stuff in the comic strips takes place. And then like a little quiz at the end where you can test how much you learn. So I love that book. And both of these books were only $3.99, so they're actually a pretty good price. And then let's look at The Tale of Beatrix Potter. I had already read this book. I saw it at the library a while ago in the new books section. So I've already read it, but I wanted my own copy. So when I saw that Barnes & Noble had a copy, I had to get it. And what I like about this book is that it includes a lot of actual real photos, which I really like. I like when they do that. And she does look kind of solemn and somber in my opinion, but I, I love... Uh, all the pictures too of like the characters that she drew and you can see there's some pictures of Beatrix Potter as a kid and that's her little brother and more pictures of her and of the drawings and things that she did and it talks about what inspired her to draw bunnies and like other animal creatures and it talks about you know her personal life getting married and all that kind of stuff so I just, I love this book, so I was really excited to find a copy of it for myself. So I'm, this is a really uh, easy to read book. It's actually funny because this is level three and this is level four, and I think this is actually harder reading, but it just depends on how the different companies, you know, how they rate their things, because I think they all use a little bit different um, rules, I guess, for what makes level one, two, three, and four in easy reading. But both of these books I would definitely highly recommend, especially if you have little readers who love Snoopy and Charlie Brown or love Peter Rabbit and any of that kind of stuff. I think they'd really enjoy this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
And don't forget that I am always looking for things to feature on my channel, especially books for children. So if any authors out there have a children's book that you would like to get a little more attention for, feel free to send me a copy. And my P.O. Box information is in the description of the video. So I love to help indie authors or just any children's authors to share their books. And I guess that's it for today. So I hope you have a great day. I'll see y'all later. So bye.